Hello, welcome to Kobe, Japan. So currently we are in Chinatown in Kobe, Japan, one of the largest Chinatowns here in Japan. So we're going to investigate this area real quick and then afterwards we're going to go to a famous shopping street here in Kobe. So as always, smash the like button and subscribe and let's see how it is. We are going to start our tour in the center of Chinatown here in Kobe. See this beautiful pavilion? Look at the artwork on that. So from what I've been seeing, a lot of people, they grab food from like these local shops and they'll eat over here in the center area. Look at this phone booth. So Chinese oriented, never seen a phone booth like this. And then here's a working phone. Believe it or not, people actually still use paid phones over here in Japan. Kind of interesting. And if you guys hear in the background, actually there's a lady speaking Chinese, not Japanese. And she's like just telling people like, I don't know, like what to do, like be good and stuff. So here's the Chinatown map. So currently we are in the center where the pavilion is, this little thing over here. There's four gates, I guess. Well, actually there's one, two, three, and then the fourth one have these lions. You see this lion over here? He has a ball inside of his mouth. It's supposed to be considered good luck if you get the ball outside of his mouth this marble but I can't oh my god <laughs> yeah so it's supposed to bring you good luck and today is a Monday so I guess it's not that crowded it's Monday at night so let me show you some of the food they're offering anyhow yeah. this old Chinese food you get six bowses or jowses for 400 Japanese yen different types of seafood. Yeah, Huan Shang Hao. Her eyes lit up when I told her good evening in Chinese. Because I can speak Chinese, just in case if this is the first video you're watching of mine. Huan Shang Hao. But I don't know if everyone here is Chinese or not, but I'm guessing 90% of the people are. We got Spider-Man over here. And this is Kobe beef. So Kobe is famous for their beef. They make Wagyu beef, which they ship all over the world. So something about Kobe is their beef. That's like one of the main things Kobe is famous for. It's one of the most expensive too. You see like the marbling on the meat? But this is a fake piece of meat though. See Kobe beef steak burger. You see the prices over here. 80 grams for 4,100. It's not cheap. And one USD equals about 140 Japanese yen, just in case if you don't know. So we go straight. Let me just show you a little overview. If you go straight that way, we can go this way. There's one of the gates, but it doesn't seem like such a long road. This guy's like making a TikTok for this lady. This is pretty funny. Or we can go straight down this road, so I'm not really quite sure. So which way should we go? You know what, let's go this way, and then we'll go ahead. Why not? Wow. Can you believe it's only, what time is it right now? It's like around 5.30 and like half of these shops are closed. Come on guys, I'm trying to make a tour here. There we go, these are the two lions. One has a bowl in his mouth. I guess only one's supposed to have a bowl in the mouth, I don't know. Hello. Hello, ni hao. 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 Show you some of these restaurants over here. Wow, look at the architecture in these buildings. Yeah, I'm trying to. We are kind of Asian, even the Thai down. So a lot of these places, they have the restaurants. You can see they have people promoting the restaurants, and each building has unique architecture. So Jiga Chuan Bushi Ichian sent by Bosch. Okay. So this whole set is for 1,380. You see the other sets they have. Some other place over here. So mostly they're selling is food in Chinatown. Yeah. Chinatown. It's always cool to see the different types of Chinatowns. Because I did show you guys a few. Showed you the one in London. Showed you the one in the Philippines. Long time ago in the Philippines. It was like two, three years ago. Actually, the most recent Chinatown I showed you was uh, the one in the Philippines. No, sorry, uh, in London. Look at the meat. That's a duck. Got the bubble tea. They love this in Asia. This is like the most popular thing now. Maybe 10 years ago it became popular. 
actually bubble tea originated in Taiwan. If you guys don't know. Some snacks over here. Kobe pudding. Oh, it's kind of like flam to me. All of these little cat biscuit cookie things. Panda Savoy. So I see a lot of these places in Chinatown have been selling this like little burrito with duck meat. It smells really good to be honest. Duck meat, lettuce, and it's like in this wrap. Which is kind of interesting, these ducks don't have the head on it. Usually Chinese places will have the duck's head on it, but I guess maybe Japanese culture, they don't like to see the head. Mmm, smells so good. You smell like the soy sauce and the spices they put on it. So here's the gate, here's the entrance, but unfortunately it seems like they're renovating it right now. So I can't show you all the details. I think you have a good idea. Mm, they're selling Kobe beef steak over here too. 100% Kobe beef burger. That actually looks really nice. Let's just see the menu real quick. Because remember, Kobe is famous for its beef. Let me know if you've ever seen Wagyu beef before. The thing why it's so special about Wagyu beef or even Kobe beef, which is the same thing, is a type of cow, but they're supposed to uh, give the cow like very nice nut nutrients, like actually treat them well, feed them well, free range cow. So the quality of the meat is a lot better than what you see for like normal steak meat. All right, currently we're at the middle point. So let's go this way now. So as you can see, in Chinese culture, one of the biggest things is food. They're really heavy on their food and they love food so much. That's why you see in Chinatown, most of the places are just restaurants. Not finding any other things like souvenirs and stuff. Well, I'm sure they do have sheep. These soup things are like for 350 Japanese yen for like two dollars, two dollars and fifty cents. Not bad. <laughs> Bubble tea shop. Tea love flowers. Seems like all the high schoolers love like that. Let me show you the prices for bubble tea, guys, just in case you guys don't know. These are the different prices, so 630 for one bubble tea, which is around like four or five dollars. Hello. 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 Let's continue. Union. For this being one of Japan's largest Chinatowns, it actually seems pretty small to me. What do you think? Here's the other gates. So, I think, yeah, this is basically it. This is Chinatown in a nutshell. And now let's head to the walking street. Hello, I'm Chinatown. Huh? You hear the little squeaky thing? The kid's wearing the squeaky shoes. It's kind of cute but annoying at the same time. PP pie. What is this? Big prize. And then we have pictures of girls on top. Sounds... Seems kind of interesting. Sounds interesting. This claw game. You can win golden pigs. Or this. Miniature. Well, what are these? Just miniature little ramen noodle things. Right, let's go inside the shop and see what they have. Panda beers? 1,000 yen to play. They have these, a bunch of these capsule machine games. Well, they're not really games, but you know, these capsules, you put like 300, 400 Japanese yen, drops down this capsule, and every machine is different. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, look at that Spider-Man. Kobe beef, another Kobe beef place. See, you know, the chef making Kobe beef sushi. One piece, 500 Japanese yen. Two pieces, 800. Look at that, Spider-Man. He likes that Kobe beef too. Awesome. Okay, now we're entering the famous walking street over here, which is massive too. If you thought Chinatown was big, this is pretty massive over here. It's a long street, it goes that way and it goes this way. I wanna say it's about half a kilometer long. Could be wrong, but from what I'm seeing, this is how it looks like. A lot of shops, a lot of things. See, this shop over here selling chocolate, only 59 Japanese yen. Not bad. 
We need chocolate. Usually, chocolate over here runs. Oh, I think there's like a chocolate biscuit thing. Usually, I see chocolate for like 100, 120 Japanese yen. And something that's different than Osaka, because I was just in Osaka, if you guys know, that this street feels like it's wider. The shopping street feels like it's wider, because Osaka has like some similar shopping street. It's wider and less people. Keep in mind, guys, this is a Monday night around 5 30. Actually, we might be approaching the end of it. Let me show you this place over here. They're selling Nikes for 5,000 Japanese yen. It's actually not bad. 5,000 Japanese yen is how much in USD? Like around $30 for Nikes? New Balance for 7,200? Wow, it's actually really good. I wonder if they have my size. Grapefruit Moon, that's an interesting authentic clothing. Import clothing. No food or any drinks inside. So I noticed also in Japan, a lot of places will be having secondhand clothing and fashion. So a lot of people are into fashion here in Japan, which is cool. In America, we have thrift shops and stuff for secondhand too. So they have it also here in Japan, which I did not expect. I thought people just want new things. Okay, looks like the walkway is about to end. And this place is called, what is it called? Moto Machi? Something Machi. They have the signage on top, but unfortunately I can't see in English. Here's another tax-free shop. So if you go to any of the cities in Japan, what I noticed in a lot of the tourist areas, which I guess is not really a touristic area, but they have a lot of these tax-free shops. It just sells a lot of convenient goods. Because before in Japan, many Chinese people would come, grab stuff because it was tax-free and then It'd be a business because you know China and Japan are really close to each other so you can get cheap flights if you live in China. But unfortunately right now, China, the country is kind of closed right now. So it's hard to come to Japan. But before that was a big business. I would see people's suitcases because I was here in 2018. Right here, here here's the name. Kobe Motomo Machi. Just, just so you guys know, this is the market. What do you guys think of Kobe, everyone? Beautiful big city. City has about 1.5 million people. Massive city, one of the, I think, top 10 largest cities in Japan. Maybe it ranks like number three, number four, not really sure on the top of my head. Definitely top 10 or even top five. Yeah, 7 Eleven. Just gonna show you the continuation of this market McDonald's, Japan. Mickey D's. How do I cross the road? You see, I don't know if this is the same walking street. It may be just a continuation of it, but it just goes on forever. And if we keep on walking for like 10, 15 minutes, from what I've seen on the map, you'll end up at one of the largest train station here in Kobe, which I cannot think of the name on top of my head because it's kind of hard. It's a Japanese name, but I'll put it on the screen. It's a famous train station over here. Let's walk a little bit further. And let me show you guys real quick these machines over here. So these machines, if you go here, you can buy different types of train tickets. So I've seen a few of these shops in Osaka. So I'm not really sure if they sell you discounted train tickets. If you're from Japan, please let me know. But also they have a money exchange here too. They also have different deals at McDonald's. Like get a Big Mac for 400 yen. I don't know if it's a Big Mac meal or just a Big Mac. Drinks for 180, 250. But there's a McDonald's right there, so I don't know why you'd buy one of these tickets. Maybe it's cheaper. I don't know. We should do a comparison later on. But well, one Big Mac, 400 Japanese yen. Oh, they got Moss Burger too, 7-Eleven. Oh, I think for example, usually it's like a thousand Japanese yen for uh, maybe a gift card. This will give you a discount for 900, 970. All right, so there is some discounts. Okay, cool. Hey, it's about that time for me to sign off. So I really appreciate you watching the video and I really love showing you Chinatown, also a little bit of a shopping street over here in Kobe. Kobe is a massive city. A lot of things to see, a lot of things to do. I think I just scratched the surface in this video and I did make a video previous to this one. So please check that out as well. And if you want to see more of Kobe, just let me know and I, I can show you. Cause right now I'm staying in Osaka. So it's not that far from here, only like about 45 minute train ride. And if you want to see more videos around Japan and also around the world, click somewhere up on the screen. 
Love you so much and peace. See you later.